So we've got some new consoles coming soon. I think we're all aware of that, but that doesn't mean it's not a good time to go out and get into PC gaming. And fortunately, there are so many great gaming laptops out there. And that's what we're gonna talk about today, ranging from the entry level stuff all the way up to the most powerful gaming laptops you can buy. So let's start on the cheaper end of things first. None of these gaming laptops can really be considered budget. They just don't really exist, but there are some really good options out there under $1,000. And my favorite is easily this one here, the Dell G5 SE. This thing is all about the amount of performance you get for the price you pay. And the major reason for that is because this is powered completely by AMD components, both on the processor side of things and on the graphics. The configuration that I reviewed and the one that I would really recommend comes in at $930 right now. And the big thing about this is that it comes with the Radeon 5600M graphics card. And if you're not familiar with AMD's GPUs, this thing clocks in over the performance of the RTX 2060 from Nvidia. And that is seriously impressive for a laptop that's under $1,000. Of course, that also gets you a Ryzen 5 processor, eight gigabytes of RAM, and more important than those, a 120 hertz refresh rate screen. In 2020, I really can't recommend that you buy a gaming laptop that's still locked at 60 hertz. It just makes such a big difference going from 60 hertz up to at least 120 hertz. Now, if you're looking for an alternative, kind of in this price range, one you'll probably be thinking about is the Predator Helios 300, which was recently updated in 2020. It's still a good option. It comes with 10th gen Intel Core processors, an RTX 2060, and a high refresh rate screen. It's just gonna cost you a few hundred more dollars than the G5 SE, and it won't get you quite as much performance. Now let's move to the complete opposite side of the spectrum with gaming laptops that are really expensive, but also really, really powerful. And there's always been a clear winner in this category. And that is this, the Alienware Area 51M. So here's the deal. This is now on its second generation, but honestly, the one we reviewed last year, which is this version we have here, is still the most powerful gaming laptop we've ever tested across all of our benchmarks and games. Now, if you're not familiar with this laptop, there's one very specific reason why this thing is so powerful, and that's because it's an actual desktop replacement in that it uses a full-on desktop processor inside. And in its second generation, obviously it's even more powerful now. It comes with up to a 10th gen Intel Core processor with up to eight cores. You can put 32 gigabytes of RAM in this. It has a 300 Hertz refresh rate screen. And most importantly, you can do an RTX 2080 Super. Now that's not the Max-Q versions that the rest of these gaming laptops use. It's not restricted in that way by the power. It's a full on RTX 2080 Super. And because of that, the frame rates are just out of control and it's easily the most powerful gaming laptop you can buy right now. Now the base configuration starts at $2,300, which doesn't sound bad, but a little buying advice, I wouldn't recommend you start at that price because you're not gonna see the real strength of a laptop like this one, a huge 17 incher, unless you start going up the spec sheet. But I get it, this is an extreme laptop. It weighs almost eight and a half pounds, it's a 17 incher, it's really thick. It even requires two power adapters in the back to get the full power out of it. So yeah, it's a niche gaming laptop for sure. So if you want something that's also powerful, but is a little more realistic in terms of portability and form factor, I'd recommend this, the Predator Triton 500. We recently reviewed the updated version of this. We're really impressed by the performance because even though it is pretty thin and light, you're gonna get a little bit of extra performance compared to other thin and light gaming laptops like the Razer Blade or the MSI GS65 Stealth. Those are both great laptops, but this one gets you a little more performance and also comes with G-Sync, which is a feature that's pretty rare in gaming laptops these days. Most notably because it kills your battery life, which is kind of what happens with the Triton 500 but it does make sure that screen tearing isn't there and you have that really smooth gaming experience that we all want out of our gaming laptops. Now, if you're out there and all the options I've given you so far are all way too big and bulky for your taste and you want something that will double as a gaming laptop as well as a work laptop, I've got something for you. It is the Razer Blade Stealth, which might be the most interesting and unique gaming laptop ever made because it's a 13 inch laptop that has a full discrete graphics card inside. 
What does it come with? Well, it has an NVIDIA GTX 1650 Ti inside, as well as a 120 hertz refresh rate screen. Those are both key specs here because you're not gonna find another 13 inch laptop like this one that actually can handle that amount of graphics power. It's not to say there aren't limitations, there definitely are. Like if you put a 15 inch laptop with a 1650 Ti next to this one, the 15 inch will definitely outperform it. But you can play most games at around medium settings and get really smooth frame rates out of it. And that is just not something that was possible in any laptop of this size before the Razer Blade Stealth. Now in a few years, a laptop like this one might not even need to exist because of how powerful integrated graphics keep getting, especially when you look at something like the 11th gen Tiger Lake processors from Intel that just are coming out now, they are becoming more and more capable at gaming. It's still not up to quite what the Razer Blade Stealth can do though, and that's what makes this the best gaming laptop for this small of a package. Okay, okay, there's only one laptop left on the table. You know what my best overall is going to be. But before I get there, I have an honorable mention that I have to include here, and that is the ROG Zephyrus G14. Now I had to send this one back after reviewing it, but if you're not familiar, this is an AMD powered laptop, except it has Nvidia on the graphics side of things. It's an attractive design, it's thin, it's light, but most importantly, it gets you an RTX 2060 and a 120 hertz refresh rate for under $1,500, and that is right in the sweet spot. However, let's get to my best overall pick, and yes, it's true, it is the Razer Blade. And if you're familiar with this channel, if you've been watching for a while, this won't come as any surprise because the Razer Blade has been my favorite gaming laptop for years now. I almost don't know what to say that hasn't already been said about the Razer Blade, but there's really not another gaming laptop despite all the copycats that captures the look and feel of the Razer Blade. It's thin, it's light, the screen is really great, it comes with an excellent keyboard and touchpad experience. It's the most premium looking and feeling gaming laptop you can buy. That's always sort of been true and it still is in 2020. Now what's even better is that in 2020, Razer is offering a ton of different configurations. So depending on your needs and your budget, there's a lot of different ways into the Razer Blade ecosystem. Yes, no matter what, this is going to be a more expensive laptop, but if you opt for that base version, you actually still get a GTX 1660 Ti and a 144 Hertz refresh rate screen, which promises that you'll get a pretty smooth gaming experience. You'll just need to kind of play at medium settings or so, depending on the game. Of course, the config that you really want is the RTX 2080 Super with the 300 Hertz screen, but it's going to be expensive. Good news is either way, you're getting a really gorgeous, all aluminum, really portable gaming laptop that works just as good for games as it does for working. It really only has one downfall, and that is the cooling and the surface temperatures, because this is a warm laptop. Even at idle, it's a little warmer than I wish it was. And part of that is just due to the aluminum surface that it uses, and part of that is due to the fact that it is a really thin laptop for the amount of horsepower they're putting in it. So sweaty palms aside, the Razer Blade is still the best gaming laptop you can buy in 2020. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. Make sure to leave a comment below letting me know which of these gaming laptops is your favorite and is gonna be your next gaming laptop. Or if there's one that I've left off the list that's your favorite. And while you're here, make sure you're subscribed for more videos from Digital Trends.